And we do begin again this morning with tropical storm now, Idalia weakened overnight, but still making its way through the Carolinas, dropping massive amounts of rain, flooding streets, causing widespread power outages. Charleston, South Carolina, recorded its fifth highest tide ever as the storm surge there exceeded forecast, reaching more than nine feet. The city also experiencing significant flooding as peak tides swelled over the seawall for some time. Meanwhile, the National Weather Service is warning tornadoes and storm surges in some areas of North Carolina. Over 300,000 people across Florida, Georgia and the Carolinas are without power this morning. And while the Carolinas will bear the brunt of Adalia today, the storm is forecast to move offshore in just a few hours. One death has been reported so far. A man in Florida who crashed his car into a tree while driving during those extremely rainy and windy conditions. The state inundated by rain with Clearwater Beach and Chiefland, both seeing more than nine inches. Officials say they've inspected and cleared every bridge affected by the storm, adding search and rescue teams are making good progress, finding and helping people trapped by floodwaters. Let's go right over to meteorologist Angie Lassman. Angie, good morning. So what's the latest on where this storm is and what damage it might still do? Yeah, good morning, Willie. We're, we're continuing to see this system weaken, but you know those images from yesterday, they're, they're hard to miss across social media and beyond. We've seen, of course, the wind damage, the water damage, the storm surge now starting to, of course, subside in places like Florida, but we're still dealing with this system. It hasn't completely weakened or moved offshore just yet. We've got a tropical storm still with winds at 60 miles per Hour as of the top of five o'clock this morning, northeast movement still 21 miles per hour. It's dealing with a little bit of vertical wind shear. What does that mean? It means that it's trying to weaken. We, we don't have great conditions for it to continue to maintain its strength, but we're only going to see gradual weakening from here through the next couple of days. The good thing is we're eventually going to see this thing move offshore, but we've still got to deal with the heavy rain that's in place across parts of North Carolina and even stretching into Virginia this morning. Moderate to heavy rain really closer to the coast. You can see stretch back towards Greenville, some lighter rain and down towards Wilmington. Notice though, we still do have a tropical or rather a tornado watch in effect at this time and it's going to last until 7 a.m. So we have a little longer for that to be in effect. You can see it outlined there in the pink Cape Hatters in that bullseye of that area as we still have a little bit of spin in that atmosphere as the center starts to continue to move farther away. Uh, meanwhile, the flood alerts continue as well. Flash flooding, especially coastal areas. We're still dealing with uh, heavy rain working through and the potential for some of that storm surge. I'll show you some of those latest numbers here in a moment, but we could see isolated numbers or isolated rainfall totals up to six inches here as we get through the rest of the day today. I think it's only going to be a couple more hours that we'll have to deal with this heavy rain in this region. So you'll finally be able to uh, get out and see exactly what's happened across coastal areas of, of North Carolina here, but elsewhere, South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, we're looking at big improvements. The flood risk will still be there for the same region that's dealing with the, the rain right now. And here's the latest numbers on the storm surge. I know this was a, a big deal across parts of the Big Bend yesterday, parts of, of um, North Carolina and South Carolina yesterday, but we're still seeing the potential for some of that coastal flooding for residents in these areas here as we get through the day today. Eventually, this is going to move offshore later today, and we're going to see the winds go with it as well, Willie. We'll see quieter conditions settling in for folks in this region, and the cleanup, of course, will, will begin here. All right, that's some good news they need. Angie Lastman. Angie, thanks so much. Look